NA10 just dropped a bomb because from now on you can create your own MCP servers on NA10. But if you are going to do it on your own self-hosted server, you will have a problem that it took me two and a half hours to solve and I'm going to solve it for you in less than a minute. But first, let's figure out what is this new MCP server trigger that NA10 just introduced. If you want to have this within your nodes, the first thing you want to do is you want to update your NA10 to the latest version. I think it's 1.89.2. Once you do it, you can click on the add a new node and here you can write server. You will have the MCP server trigger. Once you add it, you will see that you have two different URLs. You have the test one and production. Test will work when you are trying to test the steps. So if you will use the test URL, you will need to listen to an event. And then if you are going to use the production URL, you will do it only when the workflow itself is active. Now, I'm using the self-hosted server using LSTIO because when I'm using my self-hosted server, I can have as many active workflows as I want versus the cloud NA10 version that you can, with a basic account, have only five of them. On top of the MCP URL, you also have a way to authenticate who is the caller to this MCP server. So if you want to provide it to other people or to an application outside of NA10, you can actually create a barrier oath or header oath and if you choose one of them, it's pretty simple because all you need to do is create the new credentials and the credentials here will be the token for the barrier. So that could be a generic text that you can add. And when you save it, whoever wants to use it will need to send this specific token with the HTTP request. Once you created the MCP server trigger, adding tools is pretty simple. So for example, we are going to do it with the Gmail tool. So what I did here is I created new credentials and to create the credentials for Gmail is pretty simple. All you need to do is create new credentials. Then you will go to console.cloud.google.com. Here you can create your own projects. For example, I will use this one, NA10 at Olympus. And then I'll go to API and services and library. Here, the first thing I would want to do is to enable the Gmail API. So I'll search for Gmail, Gmail API, I'll find this one, and then I'll just make sure that it's enabled. If it's not, you would see here instead of manage, enable. Just enable it and then let's go back and now we're gonna go to API and services and credentials. Here we will create a new credential and it will be OAuth client ID. So the first thing I need to choose is the application type and I'll choose web application. I'll just give it a name, so Gmail MCP. And then in the redirect URLs, I'll go back and I'll copy the redirect URL. After I copy this, I'll go back here, add URL, paste it, and I'll just create the credentials. When I'm creating it, you will get your own client ID that you can already copy and you can go here and paste the client ID. And if I'll go back, you can go to the MCP credentials and here you have the client secret. So I'll copy the secret itself and here I'll paste the secret. Now I'll need to sign into the Google account I want to sign. So for example, here I'll just sign to one of my accounts and it will ask for the scope of everything I have added, everything potential. I'll just allow it and connection is successful. After you connected your Gmail account, what I would recommend is change the tool description from automatically to manually because in the automatic one, it will just say Gmail API consume versus if you want to connect into this MCP server, a couple of different emails accounts in the description itself, you can tell the the agent that is going to use this MCP server, the LLM that is going to use this MCP server, what is the different email per action. So for example, that's going to be a send tool. And in the description, it's going to be Gmail sent from and your email account. And if you're going to duplicate this for two different Gmail's account, you can do Gmail sent from one email and Gmail sent from another email. Then of course you can choose all of the different tools you want to have within the MCP server. It can be stuff like sending emails, getting emails, deleting emails, replying to emails, create labels or get labels, and you can add much more than this. 
in each and every one of them, for each and every one of them in the fields, you can just use the let the model define this parameter. And whenever I do it, what I do is instead of start writing the description, I'll just click on this X and I will delete everything but the two. Because it's pretty simple, right? It's two subject, this is the message, and this is the CC. It's very basic information, and I don't think that the LLM will need any extra information to understand what it needs to send to Gmail to this is the subject, this is the message, this is the CC. Once I have built all of the different tools I want to have within this MCP server, from now on, I can just call this MCP server from any client. I can do it from Claude, I can do it from Windsurf cursor, or, and this is what I'm going to show you, how you're going to do it from within NA10 itself. But before we're gonna see it, here is a problem I faced when I started doing it. So whenever I took the production URL and I made sure that this one is active, and I saved this workflow, and I created a new workflow. As you can see, I started this workflow with the chat. I connected to the chat an AI agent. And then in the tools, what I did was I used the new model context protocol, the MCP client tool. When you add this, it asks for the SSC endpoint and I just copy the production URL and I paste it here. Now, when I paste it here, a problem I faced was when I tried selecting different tools, it didn't give me the option to select the tools. So what I found out, it was that it was a problem with the actual timeout it took from within NA10 to go and fetch all of the different tools. So to fix it, what I did was to go to my NA10 running virtual machine on Elestio, and then in the security, I went to the Nginx configuration, I asked to show the config, and then I added this config, and I added this section, here. So I added this critical timeout setting for the SSC and that's the only change I did. I will give it in the description below. I applied this and restarted and the moment I did it, it started working and grabbing the actual MCP client from the Gmail. So I added the Gmail MCP, I created the SSC endpoint and now if I'll select the tools, as you can see, I can go and get any of the tools I have listed within the MCP server. So if I'll go here and let's say that I just want to create another tool for the example, and instead of this, it will be Marcus Reed, and let's connect this, and I'll change the name to Mark as Reed, and I'll save it, and I will go back here, and if I'll go here, I will see the new one that I've just picked. So what I'll do is I'll just pick all of the different tools that are included within this MCP server, I added LLM, GPT 4.1, which is amazing. And then I can just start the chat and ask him, what tools do we have? And I'll send it to him. He can go, he can use the brain, and he can tell me exactly that I have get emails, send emails, reply, mark as read, delete, create labels, and get labels, which is exactly the seven different tools we had within this email MCP server. So now you can start building your own MCP servers and then use them within your AI agents, which give you a huge potential because now you can create your own MCP servers extremely fast, like a calendar one, Gmail one, Notion one, any MCP server you want that have access to all of the different tools that NA10 give you or anything that you want to use the API with an HTTP request to move outside of the platform itself. Now, if you like this video, you will probably like our school community, Founders AI. This is a community for business owners who want to scale their business or learn Vibe Coding. We have a couple of different courses within the classroom like Vibe Coding applications, AI agents, all of the community meetings that we are meeting twice per week air recorded and uploaded here and we have some marketing foundation because it's a place for business owners for entrepreneurs who want to build and scale their businesses so if this is you we would love to see you in the community and until next time ciao